it's teapot transformation time. This one's from China and has a weird squiggly mark on the bottom. So I'm just violently shaking the potential spiders that made a home in my teapot. Hey, that's a legit fear. You ready? Aha! Oh no, maybe they moved to the lid. Whew, thank God we're good. Okay, let's do some math, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it all looks very technical. I'm sure it'll come in later. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Just checking the glue gun. We're locked and loaded. Oh, by the way, I'm using lights on this teapot because you guys seem to really like lights. Remember my last teapot that I put lights in and it failed miserably? Well, the second time's a charm because this time I'm putting them on the outside instead of the inside. Hopefully I won't screw it up this time, but let's be honest, I probably will. And I'm just hot gluing them down around and then I'm surrounding them with epoxy sculpt. So this time I'm doing like a fairy garden so I need some circle windows because if you know me you know I love a circle window. I'm just using the lids off of these jars and then I'm going to turn them into mushrooms because I assume that's a fairy's preferred home but I don't know. And then I was thinking a dome window would be nice so I'm cutting out a dome window from this packaging and yeah it wasn't quite empty but I just shoved them back into the closet without the packaging. I'm sure I'll totally find it later when I'm looking for it. Lied the Ashley of lies. <clears throat> okay, uh, back to this window. So I'm gluing this glass in to make it more colorful because we like a colorful window. And ouch, did you see that? That glue gun assaulted me. Art is pain, but I think it was worth it. Now let's glue them on the teapot. One window, two windows, and three windows. Ooh. Okay, let's turn it on and see. Oh yeah, that looks good. But we still have a lot more to go. So I'm adding more clay, doing this thing with the clay, and then finishing off these windows with the clay. Because we can't have unfinished windows, that would be totally lame. And we're not about being lame. But do you know what's not lame? More mushroom windows. That's right, I'm making three more mushroom windows. I want this teapot to be covered in mushrooms. You get a mushroom. You get a mushroom. Everybody gets mushrooms. Okay, but not all the fairies can live in mushrooms. So I have to make a couple buildings. So here I'm just making a circular building. Or maybe it's more like an arched building. Yeah, it's not quite circular, but it does have circle windows. And that's super exciting because I love circle windows. Okay, now I'm just covering it with some clay. This time I'm going with colorful clay because it's easier to paint. And now let's stucco our building. Is this how stucco works in real life? Or is it like a paint? Or is it like big slabs of rock that you glue onto your house? I actually don't know. Don't forget the doorknob. Boop. And all magical places need a tower with some tower windows. Okay, ready? Bam, super smooth transition. Here's all the buildings I made, but they look a little too clean, so I gotta make them dirty. And then I made the biggest mistake of my life. See, I'm putting glue in, and what is that? What, why am I doing this? Why? Apparently I thought it needed glitter, but then I can't get the glitter back into the thing, and then the glitter's everywhere. What am I doing with my life? Well, at least it can't get any worse. It's all contained on this pe- Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, no. It's okay, don't panic. This is totally not gonna come back to haunt me later. I mean, this is only the table that I do all my art on. It's totally fine that everything's gonna have glitter on it from now until forever. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Stop panicking. Man, it's all over my hands. That's it, I'm just, I'm a glitter artist now. I have no choice but to make glitter art forever. It's fine, I've accepted my fate. So I'm just adding the buildings onto the teapot and of course some more mushrooms. After all, this is a mushroom fairy teapot and our evil friend is back. Stupid glitter. Maybe if we cover the source of the glitter with this plastic, it'll stop tormenting me. Which the glitter did make one last ditch effort to ruin my life. But it's okay, cause we have the fortress of suction. And the sooner that I can contain this tower of terror, the better. So onto the teapot it goes. And then I thought it'd be really cool to add this glass around the tower. You know, sort of saying, back off, this tower has glitter in it. Don't touch it, it may ruin your life. Okay, I need another window-like structure. So I have this small container that I'm melting down because it was just a little too tall. Don't try this at home because ouch, and I accidentally put a hole in it. Great. It, it's fine, we'll make it work. I know, let's cover the hole with this totally real diamond. Totally real. It's not plastic at all. So onto the teapot it goes. Actually, a diamond window would be kind of cool. But you know what's just as cool as a diamond window? A flower window. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a flower window over this diamond window. Okay, actually, I was trying to make a mushroom here, but it turned it into a flower, and so I just ran with it. As Bob Ross would say, that's a happy accident. And we love good old Bob here because he's the man. And let's be honest, I make a lot of mistakes. I mean accidents, happy accidents. Hence the reason this tower needs a cap. Okay, so I used to be into making butterfly jewelry, but then I wasn't. That's just life with ADHD. Anyway, so I had this leftover butterfly wing pendant, and I thought rather than it just collecting dust, I'd make it into a window. Because come on, circle window with butterfly wing? Uh, life goals. 
And then I couldn't just have a window. I needed a door next to it. I mean, what good is an awesome room with a cool window without a door to get into the room? I mean, unless it's a secret room that you have to like pull a mushroom to get into it and the door opens, but we didn't do that. We made a door, so don't worry about it. But I am making this ladder. So it's a little bit easier to get to the door. Although for some reason I put it here instead of in front of the door. So you have to like climb over top, but it's fine. It's cool. It's for decoration. It'll be fine. Plus fairies can fly. They don't even need a ladder. It's not like they're a moth trapped in a bath. Bonus point if you know where that's from. Okay, I'm back to making some more windows. I feel like this teapot is covered in windows and that strangely makes me happy because I love circle windows. And if my husband Jake is listening, I'm still waiting for you to install my circle window. I even picked out a spot. Look, I'll even go cut the hole if you want me to. If you don't respond to this video in the next like, you know, 20 minutes, I'll just assume that's a yes and I'll go cut the hole. And then what are, what are you gonna do? You're gonna just have a hole in the wall? No, you're gonna install a circle window, right? I think this plan is flawless. It's totally not gonna backfire on me. Okay, anyway, moving on. So I'm just putting this vine around on the handle because it seems like the right thing to do. And then I decided that this mushroom fairy teapot could use a few more mushrooms. After all, mushroom is in the title. So I'm just making these mushrooms out of Sculpty. I'm using Sculpty because this Sculpty glows in the dark. And while mushrooms are cool, glow in the dark mushrooms are way cooler. Trust me. And then I cover the lid with these ugly leaves. Actually, they're not really ugly, but then I cover them in this like really ugly powder. Well, honestly, it's really pretty powder, but I don't know why I do it because it's, it doesn't really go with my theme that I planned. Here's where we're at at this point. And then here's what it looks like with the lights on. And then here's the first coat of paint. I would have filmed me painting this part, but I thought it would get boring and I didn't want to lose you partway through this video. So instead I'm bringing you the exciting part of these bubbles. Look at these bubbles. They're so bubbly. And then I will show you a little detail painting like these hollies or maybe berries. Ooh, and this window. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. And then I'm painting the bricks along with these brick lines. And then just a few other mushroom details. And then I slather the whole teapot with blue paint. Have I gone crazy? Probably. Maybe I've gone a little too overboard. So let's just smack some of that paint off. There, all better. Okay, and in an effort to make the lid match the rest of the teapot, I add the shimmer powder to the bottom part. See, there I'm adding it. And here, and there, and a little bit there. And apparently I've decided that we've come this far. So I'm doing some green. Green here, green there, some more green on that spot. Ooh, and here's some glow in the dark green that I put on this guy. Oh yeah, glow in the dark vine. Okay, this teapot's not shiny enough. It could use some gold leaf. Also, there's this ugly white stripe right here that I realized is gonna show when I put on the lid. And we don't want that. We want it to look seamless, but it's just a little too shiny. So I gotta dull it down with some paint. There's the paint and there's the lid still not matching. Stupid lid. I don't know what I was thinking. It's fine. We're gonna just spray paint it. See, spray paint it. And then hold on. We're gonna do the bubbles again. You ready? Here they are. Look. Look at the bubbles. I love bubbles. Okay, and these leaves need to be just a little bit more leafier. So I'm painting them green. And then I found the coolest foil ever. Look at this stuff. It looks like an oil slick. Oh yeah, look at that peel. I think I'm in love with this foil. I may have gone a little overboard, just a little bit. I mean, I did the entire bottom in it, but it's fine. L look how cool it is. It was worth it. Okay, and we're missing some overgrown plants because fairies live here and I feel like they're one with nature rather than cutting stuff down or mowing. I mean, where do you even get a tiny lawnmower? At the tiny fairy hardware store? I doubt it. But anyways, I'm just gluing on various plants and then I'm gluing this lid down because it, if fairies live in here, they need a little privacy. You shouldn't be able to just lift off the lid and see what they're doing. That would be so rude. And trust me, you don't wanna be rude to a fairy. They're incredibly tricky. They will ruin your life. Life, or at least make it 23% more difficult. And you know what? Life's already difficult. We don't need 27% more difficulty in our life. Anyways, that's just my advice. What do you think of my fairy mushroom teapot? And look, I didn't screw up the lights this time. They still work. Are you surprised? Cause I am. And then I put it on this little turntable to really look at it because there's, there's a lot of detail here and I don't know what to show off. It's a lot to take in, but I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, if I were a fairy, I'd live in it, but I do like circle windows. So, which reminds me, I have a hole to cut. 